Hello, my very most beautiful Aries. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your April mid-monthly reading. Now this is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So guys, if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my very most beautiful Aries, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. May they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aries energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. I love that the first card out is your your energy, Aries. I love that. Take a look and see what's going on. We got the King of Swords in the reverse at the bottom of the deck for your general overall energy. You also have two twos right in a row as well. So there could be a decision that you guys need to make. And maybe that's where this King of Swords in the reverse comes in at is feeling like a lack of clarity when it comes to um, what decision to make or maybe how to. So let's take a look and see. You have the two of pentacles in the re or the two of pentacles, not in the reverse. The two of pentacles in the recent past. Tell me what this two of pentacles is about in the recent past for Aries, please. I guess they both want to come out. I was only trying to take one, but they both want to. Uh, we got the star card in the reverse and the nine of cups in the reverse. So being really unhappy and really discontent in a situation. Maybe not really knowing how to heal the situation, how to bring things back into balance with that Two of Pentacles. Um, not knowing how to get out of this energy or what to do moving forward. Is this something that can be healed? Um, how do I get out of this energy? Especially if it comes to a connection, okay? Especially when it comes to a connection. I do feel like... Okay, guys. I do feel like for a lot of you guys could be single, Okay. And I do feel like there has been a connection in your past that had, you know, a major effect on you, okay? And I feel like you spent a lot of time discontent, a lot of time really needing to heal, trying to heal, trying to get out of that energy, trying to bring things back in balance. I'm really drawn to the waves at the bottom of the deck or the bottom of the card here. Um, it's like it comes and goes. Sometimes it's easy. Ebbs and flows comes and goes. Some days are easier than others, right? But... A lack of clarity about what to do moving forward. A lack of clarity about what do I want now. Um, you know, that kind of a thing. There's something trying to come in for you. Okay, we got the two of cups here in the center of the reading. Some of you guys could have just met somebody. Others of you, you know, something is trying to come in throughout the rest of this month. Um, your challenge is to take a chance on it. You got the full card here to take a chance on it. To open up to it. Queen of Swords, this could be a divine counterpart. You have the King and the Queen of Swords here. This could be a divine counterpart that is trying to come in, but you could just be unsure about it because of stuff from your past. And maybe you guys have, you know, you're like, I just started getting to a good place. I just started healing. I just started whatever, you know, and <laughs> some days you could still be dealing with whatever this connection was from the past. You could still be dealing with the effects of that. Um, and that makes you kind of hesitant to want to open up fully, to want to trust, to want to become vulnerable, to want to really let somebody in. Um, but I do feel like you're being called to. Now, you guys have free will. You guys obviously do whatever whatever you feel like is best for you. Um, but if it's out of fear that's holding you back, um, you know, that's something that needs to be looked at is why. If you, if you don't want to let something in and you don't want to open up to something, um, you know, at least ask yourself why you feel that way. You know, wh where is that coming from? What, what's the cause of that? What are the thoughts and feelings behind it? Because um, I do, I feel like there's a divine counterpart. But the thing is, even with the Queen of Swords, you're being asked to put something from the past behind you. Um, 
and you're asked to be have to welcome something in but to have boundaries at the same time okay uh, she has got her back turned towards the past the way that she's laid out here her back is turned towards the past okay so she's putting the past behind and but she's like what is that energy like forgiving but not forgetting okay she is taking the lessons with her but not punishing new people for past people's mistakes or not being closed off she's got one hand out and welcome she's she's welcoming something new Okay, in. But she does have her sword up, okay, because that's her clarity, that's her truth. She has the lessons that she learned from that past situation, as well as these are her boundaries. So it's like I know what to look for now, and I know what I want now, and I have these boundaries that I, and these lessons that I didn't have before. Okay, so I do feel like you're being called. There's something trying to come in, and it could be a divine counterpart. Two of Cups, that's a perfect match. Great communication divine counterparts but you're you know very um notice how you guys are fire signs okay but there's a lot of air energy okay that's like you guys are just using you're not opening up to your feelings or your intuition you know it's just logical i don't want to get hurt this is what i went through before you know it's very it's a little bit cold a little bit detached i feel like you guys are being called to open up to something here and you even there's still hope. You know, this is what you're stepping into. The three of wands in the immediate future. That's a card of hope. It's a card of, um, you know, knowing that what is meant for you is going to find you. It's being ready to receive. It's also future thinking. Let's take a look at it. That is your energy as well, Aries. So it's standing in a position of power and having hope again when it comes to what you've invested in. You know, I feel like this is also like you've invested into yourself. You're different now than you were when you were with them. You know, you're not starting from scratch you're not starting from where you used to be you are you have all of these lessons now that you didn't have before you're starting at this whole experience from a higher more you know wise place so i feel like that's what you're being called to look at is you know you're coming at it from a different place you've invested into yourself you're ready for this you're ready for it got the eight of cups in the reverse for what you're moving towards the eight of cups is like disconnecting emotionally um moving from the emotions to a more grounded place it's the energy of walking away of, of it's basically the energy of withdrawing you're being called to reconnect you're being called to reconnect to your emotions you're being called to reconnect to um you know that more water energy because Otherwise, you're going to miss an opportunity here. This is your advice. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Something that could be very long-term, very solid, very stable. You're going to miss it and you're going to just be on your own. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want. Just like I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being like, you know what, I, I want to, I need time to heal. I don't want I don't want to do that right now. I want to focus on me and my spiritual. There is nothing wrong with that. I think it's amazing as long as you're not doing it out of fear of getting hurt. You, that's where that got to ask yourself why you're doing it comes in. If it's, well, I don't, I'm going to stay single because I don't want to get hurt again. You know, that's something that needs to be looked at. If it's, I, I have things I still need to heal and grow, that's totally different. And even the seven of pentacles is asking yourself, you know, it's overanalyzing. It's really reflecting and looking at the situation on a deeper level. And I feel like things are becoming clear to you as you do that. Even the moon card in the reverse, things becoming clear. You know, so I do feel like, just ask yourself why. But I do feel like you are being called to take a chance. You do have a full card here. What is in the past is in the past. Okay, and um, this is in the outside influence. So that that cycle has closed. That chapter has closed, and it's time for you guys to begin a brand new one. So yes, a chapter closes, but it is also that ending is the catalyst for your new beginning. So when when chapter closed, it is the beginning of a brand new one. Okay, and I feel like that's something else that spirit is calling on you to remember. The Knight of Swords. There's going to be something coming in that starts a brand new chapter. You don't see it yet, but it's going to come in very quickly. Sword, Knight of Swords is a very fast-moving energy. Um, and, and that's probably why this reading is here, is to kind of prepare you. Okay, because I see you're going to be very in your head about it. You're going to be very in your head about it, overthinking. You're going to, this is like a self-imposed thing. Like they can't see clearly, but they could just shimmy. And all they have to do is shimmy. And they could cut themselves free and take that blindfold off just through it take that that's how that's how serious i am about freeing themselves you guys that's all they have to, that's all you have to do okay just a little shimmy and free yourself but on a very serious note it's being trapped in your head okay 
um, self-imposed prison. Your own thoughts are going to talk you out. Your own thoughts are going to cause you to miss out on something. Your own thoughts are going to keep you stuck. Okay? So we're going to clarify it, even though it's not on the table. We know what it is. The justice card. You know? Spirit saying, you know, this is something that's coming in for you is your karmic justice. It's something that you deserve. Okay, it's coming in for you. As well as what you put in, you will get out. So if you get, if you put in trust and you put in openness and you put in faith, you'll get that back. Okay. And then I do feel like we have the eight of wands for the outcome. Lots of back and forth uh, conversation, quick success, communication, a major transition, moving out of one period of your life and into another one, overcoming obstacles. Wow, Eight of Pentacles, you have two eights there, three eights. So, four. Wow. You have four eights here. I would definitely Google Angel the number, or Google. I would Google the number 888, okay, the angel number, if that's something that resonates with you, if numerology resonates with you. I'm sure there's extra messages there for you guys as well. Um, but this is a major transition for you guys, and you guys are just being asked to take a chance and to really look at the deeper reasons of why you feel the way that you do if you don't want to open up to something, okay, or if you feel closed off or if you feel distrusting. But that is what I have for you guys. There's something coming in very quickly that has, you know, it's it's a brand new cycle for you. Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be really beautiful. Okay, so I like this for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, guys. Um, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.